Our last commission for 2022 has just come in and oh my god, I love it. So, I have been tasked with making vegan and sensory friendly burlesque boas for Teasable School of Burlesque which is located in Canberra, Australia. So one state down from here. The incredible Empress Erie runs Teasable, which is Australia's first disability, neurodivergent, and mental illness inclusive burlesque classes. So really, really important work that she does and one that's very close to my heart. Empress has done an absolutely amazing job running classes, workshops, photo shoots, and everything in between. She is an absolute powerhouse at creating spaces for those of us with different abilities. And I am just a huge fan of hers. I've actually never met her, but we've been a big support of each other's small businesses since the very beginning as we've both grown. That will definitely be a future video when we finally meet. Traditional burlesque boas are usually made from feathers, which are neither vegan nor sensory friendly. So I'll be making the boas out of soft organza fabric. I use the soft organza a lot. I will sort of be going through the same process as I do to make my ruffle skirts. However, I will be making them a bit more layered so it weighs down the boas. So you get that nice swang through the magic of television. Ta-da! The fabric's here. So because I haven't done this specific design before, I am going to make one first. Just one, because if I cut up 100 meters of fabric and I fuck it up. So we're going to start with one and we'll see how we go from there. Hello and welcome back. It's Lady Hot here. Happy New Year! That rhymed and you know it rhymed. Admit it. Okay, so I am cutting two lengths of five meters of fabric to sew together. First one's looking good. Yeah, I totally got my math wrong, but not to worry, we can add on to this one and calculate how much meterage the next one will need from there. So it's actually eight <laughs> meters that are going into each one. And once finished, they make a three meter boa. That's a lot of fluffy lush. Okay, whilst I sew forever and ever, I just wanted to touch on sensory processing issues for anyone who may not know what that is. Sensory processing basically affects the way the brain processes stimuli, usually to do with the senses like sight, touch, sound, etc. This is actually a symptom I have. I have tactile and touch aversion in certain modes. So this commission was right up my alley. Sensory processing experiences usually affect those with mental illnesses like myself and those on the ADHD or autism spectrum. I can't speak for everyone's experience, but for me, if this symptom is triggered, such as a certain fabric on my skin I don't like, it feels like a Mm, kind of a growing irritation until it's completely overwhelming my entire existence and my brain just shuts down until I'm comfortable again. It's not a pleasant symptom and I have many friends who can't process things like shopping center lighting, the sensation of the shower water on their skin or noise over a certain level. Many of us have our own dealing mechanisms such as noise cancelling headphones or sunnies inside, for me, it's definitely gloves and sunnies. But yeah, we all have our own ways of coping and we are really appreciative of the people who are able to accommodate 
our particular needs. Okay, finally, all 10 boas are sewn up, but I am not done here. I've still got to add something special to these babies, and I may just have a trick up my sleeve for part two. And of course, the all-important test run. <laughs> Thank you for joining me once again. You look fucking awesome, and I'll see you next week.